So the other day we watched a video that showed um, Newtonian gravity, and in that video they talked about Kepler's laws, which are, um, they talk about how planets orbit the sun, also how the moon orbits the earth. Um, so today I'd like to investigate Kepler's laws a little bit and uh, look at ellipses. So I'd like to show you how to draw an ellipse uh, using some basic materials. Hopefully you can find um, some pins, some string, uh, obviously some paper. And uh, let me show you how we go about drawing that. Let's see if we can draw an ellipse. I'm going to start just by drawing a line right through the center of my page. And uh, we're going to identify two points. Now I'm using a piece of foam here uh, so that I can place a pin at one spot and a pin at another spot along that line. And then we're going to use some string. Um, I've taken the liberty of tying a string. It's just a loop. Uh, hopefully you can do similarly. And if we place that string around our two pins and place a pencil in there, we can draw an ellipse just by tracing that the whole way around. Now you could look up the definition of an ellipse, um, but the uh, any any point along that ellipse is equal to the sum of this side plus that side. And since that remains constant the whole way around, we get an ellipse. Now, obviously if we put the pin, just one pin in the center and did the same thing, we would get a circle. So this ellipse is just a flattened circle. Now that we've drawn an ellipse, let's investigate Kepler's laws. Kepler said that the planets, like the Earth, goes around the sun. So we could let this pin at one foci represent the sun. And he said they travel in an elliptical path, which is what we've drawn here. And um, what I'd like to do, let's investigate what Kepler found out. Um, he found out that when a planet is close to the sun, like it is over here on this side, it's moving fast. Um, as we find out with our Earth, when we're closest to the Sun, it travels a large distance um, in a small amount of time. Um, but let's say this is one day from here to here. It's not quite to scale, but you get the idea. One day. When the planet is far away from the Sun, over here, which is actually where we are in the summertime, inter interestingly enough, the planet is moving slower. And so if we plot out one day over here somewhere, it's going to look more like this. And the, the time from here to here is also one day. But because it's going slower, you see it, it travels a lesser distance. Over here we have a big distance in one day because it's going fast. Over here we have a small distance in one day because it's going slower. And what Kepler found out is that this area is the same as this area. If we were to measure that surface area, those two would be identical. Uh, the way he said it is that the, the, the path of the orbiting body sweeps out the same amount of area in the same amount of time, no matter where it is moving around that ellipse. Now that you've drawn those, um, go ahead and add the lines that, that represent uh, what Kepler was talking about, equal areas in equal times. Are you able to draw that? Uh, try uh, drawing some different kinds of ellipses. Draw, try putting the pins far apart, draw an ellipse. Try put them close together and draw an ellipse and see what the different shapes are. And uh, to turn in uh, your work for today, um, just send me a picture of the work that you did. Um, you can attach that right here in Canvas. Um, if you have any trouble figuring out how to do that, uh, please let me know.